I found these old boards in the basement of my cottage. They're used, I don't know what they're from, but they might be they might be 80 years old or something. They've got some nail holes, they're rough sawn, they have some sort of stain on them. Um, and they, they smell pretty bad. I, w I wonder if they use motor oil or, or some sort of creosote product. So here I am planing the edges just to get it flat so that I can glue them together. It's kind of hard to get the ends all, all the way flat because of the, the way the rings are and uh, the hardness of them. But even though I was planing it, it wanted to curve with the grain. So I traced, I traced it just rough to, so I could cut off the excess. So if there was any like, any part of it was not straight, it would not mess it up if it was outside of the glue up. And also just to save glue. Glue was pretty thick. Um, I don't know if it's because it's old or if it's just super cold in my cottage where I was working, where I'm working on this. So I mixed some water into it, which I hope was okay. Uh, and I, I might, may have mixed a little bit too much water into it, um, but it is, it is what it is. For some reason, I didn't go look for a, a brush to brush the glue on. I just used my finger. Um, in hindsight, I probably should have just used the brush. I'm just rubbing glue on the other surfaces that were facing down so that all the mating surfaces have glue on them. And I actually only have two uh, clamps that are big enough for this glue up, so I'm just hoping that that's enough. I actually threw some bungee cords on there just to add a little more pressure to the glue joints. I don't know if it actually did anything. And so that's the end of day one of actual building. Um, I've got to wait for this glue to dry. And then finally the exciting things will start to happen in the next video. All right, stay tuned. Mm -hmm.